Imagine a universe where everything looks familiar, but nothing is quite the same. Where electrons have mirror opposites called positrons. Where protons are matched by antiprotons. This is the strange world of antimatter. The universe's shadow twin, identical in form yet opposite in charge. And when matter and antimatter meet, they don't shake hands. They vanish in a flash of energy, annihilating each other completely. Antimatter sounds like science fiction, but it's very real. Every particle of matter in our bodies, every atom, has a counterpart made of antimatter, a mirror version. But here's the puzzle. When the universe began with the Big Bang, matter and antimatter should have existed in equal amounts. So where did all the antimatter go? Because if the two had remained balanced, the cosmos would be nothing but light. No galaxies, no stars, no life. And yet, here we are, made of matter. Somewhere along the way, matter won. But why? Scientists are still hunting that answer. Meanwhile, antimatter isn't just a cosmic curiosity. In hospitals, it's saving lives. PET scans, those glowing images doctors use to detect cancer, work by injecting tiny amounts of positrons into the body. When these positrons meet electrons in tissue, they annihilate, releasing gamma rays. That burst of energy reveals exactly what's happening inside. And what about the future? The energy released from a single matter-antimatter collision is immense. Just one gram of antimatter could produce energy equal to a nuclear bomb. That kind of power, if controlled, could propel spacecraft at speeds that now seem impossible, perhaps even close to the speed of light. Scientists at CERN and NASA have dreamed of antimatter drives, imagining ships that slice through space not with fuel tanks, but with annihilation itself. But there's a catch. Creating antimatter is incredibly expensive and unstable. Earth-based labs like CERN can only produce tiny amounts, and storing it without it touching normal matter is like trying to bottle lightning in glass. Still, antimatter remains one of the most tantalizing ideas in modern physics, a force of destruction that could become a tool for healing, exploration, or something even greater. In the mirror of the universe, we might one day find not just reflection, but revelation. And maybe, just maybe, our evil twin holds the key to our greatest leap forward,